Hey you guys, it's Megan and I'm coming at you from this insanely well-lit bathroom in New York City. I'm here for work this week and oh my god, I have to show you guys this hotel room. I'm staying at the Kimpton Muse Hotel right outside of Times Square and it's freaking beautiful. So this mirror is giving me life. It's all lit, all around it. Oh my god. And then when I saw the shower, I squealed. Oh my god. Yes. Rain shower head. Let's see. What are the products? Atelier Bloom. I don't know. Sounds fancy. I'll take it. Okay. Let's show you the rest. Look at this situation all these cool ass mirrors you can get fiji water for ten dollars and you get a ten dollar credit every night you stay here so me and my coworker kristen are like what can we spend our ten dollars on so that is the mini bar situation i guess that's down here oh there's some drawers oh my god this makes me think of spy kids anyone else oh my god like look at that yes 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 and then all the beverages you could choose as well and then this is the room it's very modern and very cool i think my light is still adjusting because these crazy mirror lights are like spazzing it out very very cool this is the king i don't know king something as like two chairs like this is amazing and then you got a view of like some buildings and then you can slightly see Times Square over there and then you get like a little desk so I am just <laughs> like in heaven I am so happy to be here there's like a free wine hour at five so we're gonna go get that of course and yeah I'm just like I love traveling for work because then you get like all these perks and stuff and it's better than sitting in the office all day. So yeah, I'm just going to like freshen up and then we are going to head out for the evening. This is my suitcase situation for this time. I tried to pack pretty light. This is my makeup. Of course, I'm still using my packing cubes. This is my PJs, my underwear and socks. Then this is all of my skincare and toiletries. I have my journal and I always bring water just in case because I'm a water addict. Um, I have my wet brush. That's disgusting. Don't look at that. This is such a cool packing cube. It's double sided. So I have one outfit like chosen on this side and then another outfit of my bras on this side. So that's like, oh, just so nice and compact. Then I have my personal computer and my um, external hard drive. And oh, and I put my charging cable in the side here. I thought that was pretty ingenious. And I just have like a washcloth, hair turban, pads and panty liners, fuzzy socks and like little uh, sweater I wear for when I sleep. So just a little rundown of what and how I packed for this trip. This is our dinner spot tonight, Beauty in Essex. We're gonna Instagram the shit out of this. And yeah, I can't wait to show you what we get to eat. Okay, we're Instagramming and vlogging our, oh my God, there's so many of these. We each get three. Um, grilled cheese dumplings and bulgogi tacos, and there's more on the way, so don't worry. All right, second round is lobster mac and cheese and the oven braised chicken meatballs, but we need way more food because we're still starving. And finally, we got the duck and mushroom ravioli and more bulgogi tacos because they were incredible. And finally, we got the donuts with chocolate berry and caramel sauce as if we need anything else, but these just look so good. We're back from dinner and I just took a shower and I need a waterfall shower head. That was the most luxurious shower I've ever had in my life. The temperature was perfect. It was like just the right like surface area. Oh my god, it was fabulous. Now I'm going to do my Peach and Lily uh, reset button sheet mask. I brought some sheet masks to do while I'm here and probably just watch the bold type and it's only like eight o'clock or something. Oh my god. I love just relaxing in a hotel room. It's like 
so amazing and um beauty in essex was so so good if you like top us and trying a bunch of different things like it's expensive but really really good and we enjoyed every single bite and now we are so stuffed so me and kristen are both in food comas um so yeah we're just relaxing in our rooms and then we have a conference tomorrow so we're just like enjoying the peace and quiet and then tomorrow evening we have more plans so i'm just so so happy to be here tuesday morning i'm all ready to go looking so fancy in my backpack and puffy coat but i feel really good got a great night's sleep and we're off for a full day of work stuff and then fun stuff this evening work is done for the day now we are in times square going to dinner and then we're seeing the mean girl show Woohoo! we're taking the stairs because we're so fit and look how cute this place is we're at blue fin at the w hotel oh my god adorable Oh my god, they just brought out our food in record time. So we got the um, truffle rainbow roll, the tiger's eye, and the Californication, and then truffle fries, which smell incredible. We're almost there, you guys. Mean Girls! Is this what the original like cast from the first on Broadway? I don't know. I don't know either. We're just going with the flow. Oh my god, it's so cold. Can't wait to go in there and get some alcohol. All right, we are all decked out. This was $34, better be worth it. <laughs> and we have the mezzanine, which is the best view. Yay! Times Square at night looks just as bright as the daytime. You guys, oh my god. You have to see Mean Girls on Broadway. <laughs> it was so fantastic. And if you stay at this Kimpton Muse, it's a very easy walk to Broadway. So wow, wow, wow. It was just phenomenal. Amazing, amazing singing. It really like took the story of Mean Girls and elevated it and expanded it. And it was just like way exceeded my expectations so definitely gets my sign of approval now i am freezing yet also sweating <laughs> it's like a mixture um but i am going to hop in the shower tomorrow we're leaving so i have to pack up and stuff like that um and we have a full day of work as well so it's gonna be like crazy but <laughs> i've just been having the best time here in new york with Kristen. we are trying the new starbucks cloud caramel macchiato and it's really good. It's in one of those cool sippy cups. <laughs> and me and Kristen both got it this morning and it's delicious. I'm home, you guys, and I am so, so thankful. Taking the bus into the city and taking it home, oh my God. It is not the most fun thing in the world, but I am very thankful that I got to go to the city for a couple of days with work and I'm very thankful to be home as well. It's like both things are great. Um, but before I wrap up this vlog, I wanted to show you guys an Ulta haul quickly that I use my points on. And I'm going to do like a separate video, basically like mini reviewing, mini reviewing, reviewing these products in like a product update video. Um, but I wanted to just like quickly show them to you guys because I haven't got to dig into this package yet. But um, two of the things, I mean, I'm excited about everything, but two of the things I'm most excited about are these BH Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes. I got Love in London and Hanging in Hawaii. And these are $16 and they're pretty cute packaging, like plastic or er, um, cardboard packaging. And... I like that both palettes had very distinct colorways. So Hanging in Hawaii is like a more so warm tone, but there are a lot of neutrals. This is Love in London, which is really cute. And this I think is like the perfect everyday palette. And then there's like some darker shades. So this is them like side by side. <laughs> um, and me and Rachel swatch these when we were in Ulta and this shade Paradise is what like sealed the deal for me on this palette. This is a matte pink. Oh my god. Can you guys believe that? For $16. 
it is that pigmented and then the like metallic shades are so creamy and smooth and pigmented and there's just like a lot of fun colors in that one and then love in london i feel like i will use all the time because there's like nice transit transition colors let's see what palace is like this seems like my kind of shade oh yeah so that is like a champagne taupe oh my god i am going to enjoy trying these out and i will let you guys know how they are because the reviews on them are just insane especially for the price so i'm gonna give these a good go before letting you know what i think about them but i have a feeling i'm gonna like them these probably do not come as a surprise to you i have been wanting to get the real techniques rebel edge trio brushes for a while since Lisa Lisa D1 has talked about them and then I think it was Daylin that told me like it's so worth it just for like one of the brushes alone and so I just knew I was going to get them when I made this order with my points. So this is a trio of very very unique brushes that oh my gosh they are like wrapped up very very securely where it's literally like a brush but smushed and so you can go like this oh my god soft as ever oh my god this is gonna be so nice i don't know what i would do with this little one but honestly i just got them for the two like face brushes this one is the rebel edge medium let me guess this is rebel edge large oh broad so the medium one i can just see myself this stuff is like stuck to my hands um like using this for highlight or blush or bronzer i don't know it just is amazing so love love real techniques i truly believe in their company and never have been disappointed by anything from them so i am so excited about that okay then oh my gosh yes i'm so happy to get my hands on the peach and lily power calm hydrating cleanser it says deep cleanse and soothe with camilla and chamomile so this is their newest launch in the peach and lily brand and love this packaging of course um obviously i haven't used it at all yet it has a nice seal on it i love that it's a plastic squeezy tube that is my favorite way that cleansers come so i was happy that that is how theirs is but i will definitely report back on that because you guys know i'm a huge fan of the brand oh my god yes so i got the lancome art liner in black because i am literally out of liquid liners which is weird to think about and i have heard about this liquid eyeliner oh my god this is like making my dreams come like making something that i've seen for so long finally holding it in my hand is like the weirdest thing um i have wanted this for probably about 10 years since starting to watch Lorraine the current custom on YouTube and she always used this and she tried other things but she always came back to this so I am so excited to try it and Lisa Lisa D1 also uses this so it's like oh this is cool it's like a felt tip and oh yes that looks like it's gonna be really good so it's like a well of product it's like squeaky hope that goes goes away but that is super super exciting then maybelline i think was buy to get one i'm only seeing two was it not buy to get one great so now i'm going to have to contact them that's fun so I got the Maybelline Lash Sensational um, Mascara, which I love, and then, the, oh my gosh, and this is broken. The pencil is broken. Well, that's just wonderful. Um, the Maybelline Deep Teal Liner, the Tattoo Studio, because I used to use teal eyeliner all the time in my waterline, and I was feeling really nostalgic, so I was like, I'm going to get a teal liner, but this one is broken, so, and I was supposed to get... I know it was buy two get one free yeah um ink city explorer oh maybe it was a liquid eyeliner I I don't even know but it's not in here that's all I know so now I have to figure that out oh I I found it it was in in, in a little bag 
So I got a free little liquid eyeliner, which I love the Maybelline Precise All Day Liquid Liner. So good. And this was the other like really random thing that I got. It's the um, Maybelline Superstay uh, Liquid Lipstick in 105 Explorer. It is a navy blue color. And I swatched this in store with Rachel. And I was just like inspired and amazed by this. So I think I'm going to put this on. Do I? Here, let me use a little mirror. And I don't have anything on my lips. So this should be interesting. Okay, let's see. I love the formula of these. So, oh my God. It's so pigmented. Okay, it's a little splotchy if you rub your lips together. Like, I feel like this is like cool girl, like edgy goth. I just think it's so cool that drugstore brands are coming out with colors like this. Like, who would have thought? So I can make that look a little better if I took more time, but that is pretty freaking cool. Like, <laughs> who is that girl? Who knows? But just some fun stuff. I'm glad I found this. Um, and with this, I'll probably just sharpen it since now I don't have to worry about all this being messed up. But the last thing I got, which I'm super excited about, is the Revlon um, One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer. So I never use hair tools, but I would love to just like make my hair look a little nicer. And so I thought this seemed really, really good for me and something that I hope will help me enjoy style, well, styling my hair while also drying it. So I do have high expectations for this, so I definitely want to give it a shot before like telling you guys anything about it. But that is everything from my Ulta $200 worth of points. I appreciate you guys watching my New York City vlog and then this little haul in the mix of things. And I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I really appreciate you hanging out with me and I'll see you soon. Bye.